Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Last night was one of the difficult night for me because i love soccer so much soccer is one thing that can make me watch television for so many years i've never sat on tv to watch tv whether it's the news whether it's this is that i don't watch it but i love soccer i'm a i'm a supporter of arsenal football club <laughs> Those of you that follow me, will see me attacking Chase every day, fighting. I love football with passion. If I was not a pastor, I was going to be a footballer or a, a lawyer. These are two things that I love so much. So because of that, I, I received a very bad news. The Zambian football team, there is one guy, anytime that Zambia want to play Nigeria, there is one guy that I fear there. Only one guy. I don't, they can, even if they can play us 22 against 11, win. But there is one guy I fear because he has speed. Once he gets the ball, phew, he will not even see how he has reached. It's one of the reasons why they won the 2011 or 2010 or 2012 Cup of Nations. So I had the news last night that he was involved in an accident. <laughs> and before I could get back home to verify the news, all around Facebook I heard that he has died. A very young boy. His name is uh, Renford Calabar. Very young guy. It's the reason why that I love the Chipolo Polo. It's the reason why I watch Chipolo Polo football. Because he's fast. <laughs> he made me fall in love with the Zambian football. So yesterday we had the news that accident happened. And he was taken to hospital and they pronounced him dead. And when I called them to verify whether he's dead or alive, they said he was put in ICU. Others are saying he died. Others are saying he has not died. If you are a follower, see, I want you to follow me on Facebook, you will see where I posted. I sent a prayer for him. And I asked God to keep him alive. And we are getting news that by the grace of God, he's coming back to life. I want to pray for you again. Rainfall Calabar. The God that touched you in the ICU. And the God that is bringing you back to life. May he continue the work that he's doing. I am saying, let life come back to you. This congregation, can we shout an amen loud and clear? <laughs> congregation, don't be like people of Zambia. There is a lot of jealousy in Zambia. Zambia is a jealous nation. They, je they, they love the news of death more than anything. I, I, I'm just following on Facebook. People are even celebrating. People are judging him. People are saying he was with a gay friend. I mean, who has not seen before? 
Don't be, don't be people that celebrate. When, when you see me come here and pray, there are millions of people from all over the world that follow C1. But when you see me praying for somebody, I have an interest in that person. And God has an interest in that person. We are saying, be healed in the name of Jesus. So many people are writing a lot of things about him. Eh, he's married, but he's cheating. Most of these people that are... You see, the reason why I don't condemn people... There are people that committed sin before they came to this church. Every sin is a sin. All sin are equal. Yes. As you are coming to church this morning, uh, the conductor told you you are going to pay. 25 naira and when you are about to come down you give him 20 naira and he said ah but i told you 25 say no you didn't tell me 25 for you told me 20 naira you come here you sit down you are a holy person because that lie according to you is very small now in this service i'll be prophesying to ophemism and say hey come here ophemism I see you before you came to this church you slept with another 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 person's wife is it true or they say it's true you will see the person that like to conduct or here say ah! hey people are so bad the same sin that you committed is the same sin that you committed Are you hearing what I'm saying? No one is qualified to judge anybody because of sin. No one. No one has the right. The Bible says, Thou shalt not kill. When he said, Thou shalt not kill, he didn't say, Thou shalt not kill a human being. He just said, Thou shalt not kill. That is part of Ten Command. Now, in your house, mosquito, wee, wee, wee. Ah, what did you do? You killed. It's not a sin. Because mosquitoes don't have blood. Because it's not a living thing. That's why you shouldn't judge. You have seen a woman that committed abortion, 20 abortions, judging a woman that refused to commit abortion to keep her own child. You are busy jumping from man to man. It's the same thing. This one decided not to kill a life. You decided to terminate 30 lives. People are judges people are full of they will judge you at anything that's why i don't care that's why once i see everybody saying ah see i want you are good see i want i love you i start getting worried i don't want people to love me because the person that love you today will judge you tomorrow <laughs> You see me, <laughs> you see me, I don't, I don't care. My pattern of preaching, I don't care. My pattern of doing my work, I don't care. Because whether you do good, you do bad. And the people that will talk are people that have committed more sin than you. <laughs> Many years ago, if people have problem, if you go to your community, they reject you. You come to church and you find love. It's no longer the same. Uh, you see, many years ago, we had to find peace. It's in the church. But not anymore. In fact, there are more enemies that you have in the church than outside.
If you go to Concord, Concord Hotel there, there is a club there, an octagon club. I don't know if it's still octagon, but when I was young, we used to go to club there. Or if you go to Ossesin Hotel, or may, there are many clubs here. If you are sad from your house, very sad from your house, you go to the club, you will come back happy. I'm telling you, you, people that don't even know you, they will buy you drink. You will drink. You will come back. That's they will embrace you, no matter who you are. But church, church, from that gate, they will judge you. They will say you are a woman, but you don't. You, don't, you are not wearing your scarf. You check my church. I watch church in Dara. See, I want to go and look for something to wear. Already, they will judge you. This is somebody that, that's why the woman, the Mary, Mary Magdalene, I call Mary Magdalene, the one, the one that broke alabaster. Now, when this woman saw Jesus, that's why I don't judge. I can never judge anybody, and that's why I concentrate much on politics than church. Because I, when I come here, I solve your problem, I go home. I don't put it at heart. I don't even count how many members we have. I don't even count how many people that come to church. It, I, I have more interest in solving your problem. You go home, I go my way. That to, when we make brethren, once we become a brethren, today we have love, tomorrow there will be hatred. That's why I go my way. The woman, the Mary Magdalene, saw Jesus. She had received the prophecy that Jesus was going to be killed and Jesus was going to die in the next few days. She said, What am I going to give to him? I'm not going to see him again. This is the last day that I will see him. So let me use the opportunity to give you what I have. And she went to Jesus. Why crying? She's not crying because she's a sinner. She's not crying because of any other thing. It's because I'm not going to see Jesus again. This is an unbeliever. She's crying. There was no water available, but she was using her tears to clean the feet of Jesus. She cried and cried and cried. There was no towel available. She used her hair and cleaned the feet. The disciples were there. They received the prophecy many, many, many years ago that Jesus was going to die, but they didn't care. But a woman, a prostitute, that's why thou shalt not judge. Most of the people you judge are better than you. Can I talk? Most of them are far better than you. They were there, the disciples of Jesus, who eat with him every day, who sit with him every day. But the woman was cleaning the shoe, the feet, with her hair, expensive hair. And after that, she broke an expensive perfume. Power! And use it to anoint Jesus. That was when the disciples became angry. They went to judge her. Tell your neighbor, stop judging people. Stop. Tell another person, stop judging people. They went to judge her. Ah, this woman is busy snatching people's husband. Now she went to use this expensive perfume to bribe Jesus. Jesus said, get out. I'm, I can never judge anybody. You see me, when you see me preaching, you will never hear me say, Muslims are going to hell. Have you ever heard me saying that? Ask your neighbor, you know how Papa is cool all time. Have you heard me say that? I can never. In my office here on Tuesday, herbalists, they come to collect do as I say. I don't ask them, what do you want to do with it? Who am I to judge? If I judge you, 
because you did this you did that how about the ones i did that you did not see Christians are like politicians and their brothers and sisters. Um, um, then I start. You see, politician, yes, this is a governor. All the people that are supporting APC today, you can never tell them anything about Tunubu. They will tell you Tunubu after God is Tunubu. why because in one way or the other there is something they are benefiting yes. now let them come out of power the same mouth after tunubu after god is tunubu the same mouth will change once you stop benefiting it becomes corruption but when you are benefiting is favor that is politics that is how Christians are. Once it you benefit, like for example, even the greatest critics of hope who's of them today, hope will say, Come, come to government. Come, I am going to give you the commissioner. That day the tone will change. You will never see corruption in the government again. What you will see now is favor. But when it's not there, it's corruption. That is how Christians are. They like to judge when it doesn't favor them. So this young man in Zambia, we are praying for him. No matter the matter, no matter the crime, God must remove him from ICU. Yeah. And God must give him a second chance. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So we All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.